Hello YouTube. I got this old computer bag that we don't use. It's something our daughter had. She got something better. I gave her a better one that's more padded. Uh, so it's never really been used. Probably just less than a week. Okay, we're going to repurpose and chop this up. We're going to make a pouch out of this one right here. We're probably going to cut down the outside of here. Then we'll probably cut the material clear up to here so we can fold it behind this. So we'll be folding it like above the zipper line, the thread. And this has padding in here that will probably come out. This will probably get recycled material here, all this stuff. So we have that. We're going to make a small pouch. We're going to save the straps. We got straps here. We're going to save nice buckles. We'll save this strap. And we got this pouch too we're going to save. Okay. On the other side of it, there's a mesh pouch. We don't care about it. I don't know if you can see it in there. Just a real quick. So you can see what the bag looked like before I chopped it up. So we're going to save that. And so we'll probably it'll probably ruin the mesh pouch. We've got stuff inside of here, material. Uh, who knows what we're gonna make out of it? Like this strap that's padded. Uh, who knows? So I might make a couple little uh, knife cheese sheaths. Can't say that word. You know what I mean? Put your knife in. There's black on the back. So we'll leave it here before it gets too long, and then we'll bring you back when we get the pieces cut out and show you what we're gonna do with it. So, this could be a couple day project, but I just want to show you before I chop it up. So, stay tuned and you'll get to see what I made out of it. Okay, here's our progress so far. This might be a two part video here. This is the stuff that was on the side. This could be made into some kind of uh, really quicky, cheapy knife sheath or something. I don't have a sewing machine, so this is all we do by hand. These are my Tecton scissors. I have a video on these. These will cut leather anything. I saved the buckles. They was on there somewhere. Okay, here's this piece right here. Okay, we got the top folder about as short as we can get. When we come over here on the back side, we got about that much. So with this, whatever stuff this is, we're gonna cut this off because it's just too much. To, my, I can't sew through that by hand. So we're gonna get rid of all this seam. We're gonna get rid of this piece right here. And it'll just give us enough, <clears throat> excuse me, to overlap and sew that by hand. I do have curved needles where I can go like upholstery, I can go in. I still have my hand in there, so I can go in and sew it. It doesn't have to look pretty. Like I said, this ain't gonna match here because we don't care what it looks like on the back side. We're gonna end up with a nice little pouch, and this is like fleece lined. Yeah, nice and soft. Put your glasses in there. So, enough talk on that. We don't want this to be a real long video. It might end up being two parter because we're going to have two of these to make. One out of the other part of the bag. So, stay tuned. We'll bring it back when we have this all done. So, stay tuned. Okay, we're done. We got a nice little bag here. We got this folded over, sewed up. It's not nothing fancy. We did put a piece of cardboard in here. So we only went through this material, not through the front or anything. So we didn't make any mistakes. Uh, we got one end sewed down here, which was easier to sew than the other stuff. But we're thinking about maybe putting some Velcro on here. So this is kind of a hidden pouch. You can put some paper or maps or something in here. And then you still have this to put stuff in. But this stuff's easy to sew through because it's not woven tight. This is real rubbery vinyl. Uh, you can even see where it's puckered. It's hard to sew through. I have a picture where I use my curved needle and I grab it with my little, should make a video on that. It's a real super cheapy mini tool. But I grab the needle and I can push it in and pull it through. So that's what upholstery needles for is when you can't get to the back side, you just got to go in and come back out. That's all they are. Like when you make couch cushion or something. So there you go. This one's done. Uh, we'll maybe make another short video when we make the other pack. So, thanks for watching.